Okay guys, so this is my product review and first impressions of this Pintar Little Shark um, pool vacuum. Throughout this video, you'll see me trying different things with this vacuum and at one point I even got like an aerial shot from out of my bathroom window upstairs so that you could see it running inside my pool. Hmm. Um, as you see it there, it looks stuck, but it does get your pool clean and it moves around the bottom of the pool very, very slowly. So sometimes when you sit and watch it, you're like, that thing's not moving. But I promise you, it does work. It moves around very, very slow like it's supposed to, to vacuum up all the loose debris and whatnot. And as you'll see, um, at the beginning of the season, my swimming pool was a very dark blue on the bottom. Well, in combination of all the chlorine and all the sun, because our, our pool is in direct sun most of the summer, it has faded into this really light blue, which I'm very thankful for because once the chlorine bleached it out in some spots at first, it was looking kind of green. So. Um, I'm very thankful with the outcome of this all total all summer. I haven't had any problems with the windows or anything like that. Um, then you can see my vacuum moved its way to over there as I was talking to you. Um, so overall... I would say that this vacuum is a must if you have an above ground swimming pool. It's definitely going to take your time out of having to come out to vacuum, which I no longer have time for with a new baby and whatnot. So yeah, definitely pick one of these up. I'm sorry for this video being kind of long, but I really wanted to do a good demonstration on this because there are no reviews on YouTube anywhere about this vacuum. I think there's only like one or two. Um, and the rest of the reviews that I found were on the Hayward ones. So, I hope you enjoy watching this video. See you in the next one.
review and first impressions of this Pentar Little Shark vacuum cleaner that I've been talking about all summer long that I still haven't come in um, to do yet. That's because it just got here. And unfortunately, it's getting ready to rain, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time um, recording the unboxing process. But I'll try to film as much of the setup process as I possibly can. Plus, we just had our baby. I've been super, super busy. And I just got home with my two older girls from an eye doctor appointment. And I just laid him down hoping that he's going to take a nap. But since I don't have much time, I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. But I wanted to come in here and show you this thing and review it and let you know what I think about it. 12 hose pieces uh, that look like that and then on this one it has a red tag that tells you to disconnect the hose when the vacuum cleaner is not in use and then this is the little shark and then on the bottom it has this little settings tab there where you can set it to different settings uh, for your pool or for your situation. Okay, so now I have it hooked up. I have all the hoses attached to the cleaner. And they're going all the way down and around. There's the canister. And then all the way around to there. There is the end piece that you hook into the skimmer uh, vacuum attachment, which is... Uh, here. Okay, so the shark is in the water. It's all hooked together. There's some floaties in the pool that I can't reach in and grab right now. And then that pink thing has water in it, so I can't get that out either. Um, so we're gonna try to do the best we can with this, I'm sorry. And as you can see, this pool is a wreck. It is a mess. There are things all over the inside of this pool this is from weeks upon weeks and weeks and weeks of not cleaning it so we're gonna see how this thing does okay so i managed to get those floaties out the only one i can't get out is that one over there because like i said it's filled up with water so this is the little shark moving very very slowly um, throughout the inside of our pool, which I don't really think it's supposed to move fast. If it moved too fast, it wouldn't pick up the dirt and debris because it would just push it around. Um, <clears throat> remember me saying before, that's why our Intex didn't work anymore because once I upgraded the pump, the pump was so powerful that it would literally lift the Intex pool cleaner from off of the pool floor. So I wasn't hating on Intex. I was just saying that for us, with the pump upgrade, it no longer worked. Okay, so it looks like it's doing its job. I mean, it hasn't left from basically in front of me at um, eye level as of yet. But I'm gonna let it run in here for a while and I'll be back. And again, I just wanted to come back very quickly and recap on how filthy and nasty this swimming pool is. Okay guys, so this is the path around the pool there where the little shark has gone so far. And as you can see, all that dirt and debris, at least on that side of the pool where it has already been is gone. There's a little hole right there where it's just like a little tiny pit in the ground. So I don't know if it'll ever be able to get down in there, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> so far, this looks like it's doing rather well. It's dusk, so um, I'm going to let it run in here just a little longer tonight. But then I'm going to turn it off, and for the purpose of this review, 
I am going to take the canister off to see how much better or worse it works without the canister. And I forgot that these little things get stuck in your ladder. So I had to pull the ladder out of the pool. <laughs> like they're like that. Um, it's kind of carrying this floaty around the pool with the hose because I can't get the floaty out because the floaty is filled with water. I would have to physically get in the pool to get it out, which I will do. I promise when I come back tomorrow, it'll be gone. <laughs> I'm here to give you a little bit of an update on this pintard little shark and uh, as you can see it's moving very very slowly across the bottom of the pool I have the pool filter set on filter and I did take a little bit of time over the last couple of days to see if in my situation what would work with this cleaner and what won't work so in my case, for whatever reason, there's four settings on the bottom of the cleaner so that it will um, make whatever coverage on the bottom of your pool. What I noticed is, for me, for whatever reason, um, mine has to be set on one or two for it to actually work in my pool. Every time I try to set it to three or four, it won't run. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why. But anyway... <coughs> Um, as you can see, it's, it's there, like, in the corner of the screen. It's very slow, but I would expect a cleaner like this to run slow because if it runs too fast, it's not going to clean the debris off the bottom of the pool. And then you can see I have the water hose in there because I had some evaporation going on. Um, I didn't film the part where I had tried to run this cleaner without the canister. The canister's over there. So when I tried to run the cleaner without the canister, I noticed that because the pump that I have is so powerful that without the canister, it actually will suck itself to the bottom of the pool and it won't move at all. So <clears throat> what I found is Having the canister on there decreases the amount of suction that uh, goes to the cleaner because basically looking at the uh, instruction manual, what I found is that um, in order to prevent that, you need to use the vacuum regulator that they give you. And I'll show you if I can find it, what that looks like. I mean, I'll tell you this probably, but Whenever I stop the video, I found my vacuum regulator. Um, my vacuum regulator was actually inside my skimmer basket. So there's the piece I was telling you about. It says you're supposed to attach the hose on that end and then put this in into the reducer cone. The reducer cone is uh, that cone shaped thing in there that makes it basically what I found is that every time I attach the vacuum regulator like they uh, recommend that you do, um, it actually makes the cleaner stop completely. Um, I did find late last night when I came in that the cleaner will sometimes run a little bit better if it is set to recirculate but I let it run late last night and what I noticed is that it got stuck in the bottom of the pool like you can see there um, and I think that was because of the suction what I do notice with this cleaner is that it may take it some time but it does eventually get itself unstuck like you can see there it's beginning to move again um, So yes, it does run very, very slow, but that's okay because you know, with my schedule nowadays, what I'm gonna probably do is come out late at night and put this cleaner on the pool at night and let it run in the pool at night whenever the pool is unoccupied. 
so that it has a chance to clean my pool um, overnight. Um, I did notice also that when the hoses become tangled, that makes the cleaner stop. So sometimes you have to come out here and untangle the hoses. I did try to remove a couple of pieces of the hoses to help it run to see what that would do. And in my case, it actually runs better with all of the hoses attached. Um, sometimes it will, like I said, run a little bit better if the pool is on recirculate. So there it is right there. It's got stuck in my corner again. Like I said, this eventually does get itself unstuck and it's headed straight back to the quarter where it keeps getting stuck. So we'll see if it turns. As you can see, there's like a pole attachment there. Um, the tail is there, but then the pole is there. I don't know if you can see that because the sun is so bright that it's making it hard for me to see out of my camera right now, but that there is for a pole to attach to it so that if it's not getting the area clean that you're wanting to get it clean, you can actually attach a telescoping pole to this and guide it. Um, and, and you can actually do the steering. So I put that on there just in case I ever need to use it. So it's already on there and I won't have to pull the whole cleaner out and make it work with the pole. I mean, I could, if I need to use a pole, I can pull it out and just put the pole on now without having to, you know, put the whole attachment on there. So, yeah. So anyway, um, this was the example that I was showing you where I put the um, cleaner on recirculate for my pool. It did move for a minute there, but then it stopped. It got stuck. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, I mean, my pool is a lot cleaner than it was whenever I made the first video clip in here and the kids had been in here and had all their floaties in here and I had to take all that out. Um, so if it ever gets stuck and you're like, well, I can't reach in and grab it, then all you want to do is come over here um, near the skimmer and just pull the hose Um, and see like there how it got twisted uh, you know just pull the pull the hose out and um, untwist it like that and that'll help I um, also think that for the future I'm probably gonna detach or, or take out my chlorine floaters because they seem to get hung up on the hose. So. I wish I wouldn't have to run them in there at all. But I'm gonna continue to pull. <coughs> <coughs> the hose like I was showing you so I can actually get it to come un unstuck from over there where it doesn't seem to want to move um, just pull it just pull it out And it's on its side now, but as you can see, it sat itself up. Um, what I did notice about this, I love it because this never falls over. Um, But yeah, so I just wanted to take you around and show you like how clean my pool actually is. Cause if you'll remember there was like 
a whole bunch of leaves and a whole bunch of stuff all over the bottom of my pool. And this is not the only day that I run this cleaner. I ran it yesterday and I ran it the day before. And like I said, you know, it does take it a while uh, to run in this pool. It runs very, very slow. Um, because like I said, I have that vacuum regulator they want you to use doesn't work in here. And they want you to have it attached, but when I attached it, it some for some reason made my pool not made my um, cleaner not work at all. So I'm still trying to figure that out. So I'll come back with more of an update um, on this cleaner on a day that it's running a little bit better. Um, than what it is right now because <laughs> it's making a big wire out of me and it's staying pretty stuck at the bottom of my pool and also figure out why that vacuum regulator doesn't help it run a little bit better it should based on the instruction manual it says if your pool it says if your cleaner is running very slow or not at all then attach that vacuum regulator to help decrease the suction So we'll see, we'll get it figured out. Okay, you guys. So I don't know if you can hear me because my husband's mowing the grass. But as you can see, Little Shark is in there doing his thing. Um, I did figure out the reason why the vacuum regulator did not work. Um, there was a piece that I had to take off of it, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, uh, as you can see, he's moving around real slowly in my pool. So, um, I just thought that I would come back because it really made a big wire out of me the other day. When I had this video running, it like wasn't moving at all well it did the first night that I put it in it wasn't moving at all like almost throughout the whole video it wouldn't move so uh, <clears throat> it, it made me look <laughs> really stupid so I thought that I would come back and show you what exactly it is that I did. Um, and I did notice that sometimes some of my girls' toys will get stuck up in the moving part that moves the thing around the pool and will actually cause it not to move. And I think that might be what's going on now. I know you're like, yeah, we'll get in and make sure that there's nothing in there, right? Well, um, you know, but he's mowing the grass and he's getting ready to unplug me here for a minute and we're about to have a big pool party for my daughter's 16th birthday. Well, belated 16th birthday because she um, just got discharged from the facility where she was at in Atlanta. And we missed her birthday this year. So we're having it late. Um, I did managed to, since I figured out the vacuum regulator, I did manage to take off a couple of the sections of hose. Um, but it looks like maybe that I could probably take off one more just to make it so the hose doesn't continue to become tangled. So, uh, Don't, don't, don't get any closer. I'm trying to make sure that the vacuum doesn't get stuck on that ladder. I'm making a pool video on my automatic pool cleaner. Can you see it? Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Remember you.
Oh yeah, this is Muriel and she has a channel. It's called Muriel's Bravery. Um, if you're watching this, go over and um, subscribe to her when you get a chance. That'd be great. Also, on my video, make sure you like and comment. Yeah, because that helps your YouTube channel grow. Yep. So, I really need my YouTube <coughs> channel to grow. I mean... <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but I needed to find out if the vacuum regulator, there's two different rubber pieces that you can go on based on uh, the size of your pump. So I almost want to stop this and try to see if the other rubber piece on the regulator would help it more than um, the one that I have on there. I have the one that says 60 through 25. It says something in the instruction manual if it's moving too slow um, or whatnot that you can change that. Uh, you can change that rubber piece to 50. So I'll show you in here what I had to do. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little plastic piece. Um, that was covering up that rub rubber um, piece in there that was blocking it. That's why it wasn't working. When I take it off, I'll give you a better view of it because I'm not in the pool, so I can't really take it off right now, especially not with the pump running. But um, let me just walk up here to my porch. And he's eager to go inside. <laughs> so this is the plastic piece I was telling you about that I had to take off. See the bottom part, like that right there, was blocking um, that little rubber piece. Mm -hmm. And then I also had it in upside down. Before you shut your camera off, Mom, I want to talk to them about something oh well I'm trying to do a pool review right now oh a uh, review on my pool cleaner so this is the other rubber piece I was telling you about that based on your size of pump they recommend that you take the rubber piece off the regulator and change it to this one um, and it has a number 50 on it so I almost want to stop it and put this one on just for the hell of it mm -hmm. to see if it runs a little bit better in there I'm just curious, you know. Let's see, let me go over here and do that real quick. I hope I don't mess things up for myself. <laughs> no, Rue. first check to make sure he's moving still. Yes, he's over there. And I was happily able to take some of the pieces off. But I feel like he would do a little bit better if I could possibly uh, change his setting on there to setting number three or four. He's right now, he's setting one, and I'm not sure if that's going to give me full coverage or not. So when you set there's the um, plastic piece that I was talking about goes over that rubber piece and I put the one on there that says 50 and I did notice right away when I turned it on that it did increase the pressure from my return. I think that one other one may have been blocking it a little bit more but we're going to see. I'm going to see if this moves a little bit better with it on there. So I just setting it up to show you the rubber piece that I changed out. There's the other one in my uh, basket. I'll take that out in a minute. Um, so when you put it in, you're going to turn this upside down like that. Because if you have it set up like this, it's going to cause you to lose prime in your pump, which just happened to me because I forgot. Okay, so it's kind of sitting here um, in the corner right now, working its way out gradually. <laughs> um, so after changing the vacuum regulator piece, I don't know if I necessarily think that it makes the cleaner run any better than it was with the other one on there. I'll have to watch it for a while. But right now it keeps on heading back to that corner. So I'm going to reach in and help it out. Otherwise it'll just be sitting there. Now 
hopefully it won't just move right back down into it. <clears throat> we'll see what it does. Now I know this video is kind of long, but you know, I'm just trying to give you uh, the best possible review on this as I possibly can because there's no reviews on YouTube about the little shark except for one or two. Uh, the only reviews that I've seen on there is uh, the Great White uh, or some of the other Pentar bigger vacuums for like underground pools. So I'll have to watch it a little bit. It looks like it's running a little bit faster or maybe about the same, I'm not really sure. But I did notice that whenever I changed the pack, um, or, uh, what is that? The um, rubber piece on the regulator, that it did give me a little bit more pressure for my return. That's my pool light that I reviewed the other day. I put that on there before I put the vacuum in. Um, because my other return jet really pushes it down to the floor um, so it, it didn't really work but I wanted to do that in the daytime I didn't want to have like the worry of coming out here at night to put my light on there and then I have my other light plugged in over there by the ladder it's already plugged in so I don't have to worry about doing it later 